As of June 19th, 2022, there are 48 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Reventador in the nation of Ecuador, which has been near continuously erupting in a Strombolian to Volcanian manner since 2002. Its largest historical eruption occurred from November of 2002 to January of 2003 and was assigned a volcanic explosivity index of a 4. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano related news stories. In Indonesia, the Ibu volcano produced an unusually large explosion on June 6th. Since then, the volcano has been intermittently ejecting ash at a rate which is slightly higher than normal. Meanwhile, in Alaska, a major earthquake struck adjacent to the Davidov volcano. And, in this week's top story, a major earthquake swarm began underneath the Mount Teide volcano on the island of Tenerife. For context, the Teide volcano encompasses the majority of the most populated landmass in the Canary Islands. It is a highly unusual stratovolcano with a large central caldera and eruptions with a wide variety of lavas. Due to the frequency of its explosive eruptions and how close major population centers are to its flanks, Teide is considered to be one of the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet, earning the designation as a so-called decade volcano. Although it last erupted in 1909, non-eruptive volcanic activity has occurred since on several occasions through a series of energetic earthquake swarms. One such earthquake swarm began on June 17th, where 458 earthquakes occurred in a time span of less than 24 hours. These quakes were centered in close proximity to the Chahora event, which erupted a dark lava flow in 1798. These quakes trended towards the northwest, representing a general line of activity which is the volcano's northwest rift zone. Almost all of these quakes were hybrid earthquakes, but in this case were not related to the movement of magma. Rather, although this latest activity is volcanic, they are occurring due to the movement of heated hydrothermal fluids at a depth of between 10 and 15 kilometers. A similar earthquake swarm occurred in 2016, which did not result in an eruption. Scientists will continue to keep an eye on this ongoing earthquake swarm, but as it stands right now, there is no cause for alarm. In the Aleutian Island chain, there are a number of remote yet highly scenic volcanoes with minimal scientific information on them. One of these volcanoes is Davidov, which is not known to have produced an eruption at any point in the last 10,000 years. Thus, it came as a surprise when a group of intense earthquakes began underneath its prominent caldera in December of 2021. These caused the volcano's alert level to be raised to yellow. Over the next three months, hundreds of earthquakes occurred, but neither a volcanic eruption or a single sign of magmatic uplift was documented. Although Davidov's alert level has since been lowered, it has continued to produce an elevated rate of earthquakes. Then, on June 4th, a magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck a mere 9.5 miles north of the volcano. This subsequently triggered a series of additional quakes underneath Davidov, which are occurring at near-identical locations to those witnessed in December of 2021. While the shallower earthquakes could be volcanic, the major earthquake is most definitely not volcanic. I can presume this based on the fact that the quake occurred in the upper mantle at a depth of 105 kilometers. Regardless, the nature of the ongoing earthquakes at Davidov is still quite interesting. In Indonesia, the Ibu volcano has been near continuously erupting since 2008. Over the course of its still ongoing more than 14 year long eruption, activity has been dominated by a growth of a lava dome that occasionally produces small volcanic explosions. These explosions typically produce ash plumes that reach no more than 1,000 meters in height. However, on occasion, sporadic larger explosions do occur. On June 6th, an unusually large volcano explosion generated a more than 4,000 meter high eruptive plume, marking Ibu's largest single eruption since 2018. In the month beforehand, eruption plumes had reached no higher than 2,325 meters. So ever since this large explosion, activity has remained elevated, producing unusually high plumes that reach between 2,800 and 3,400 meters in height. Luckily, this increased eruptive intensity does not pose a risk beyond its already designated 2km exclusion zone, which extends to 3.5km north of its crater opening. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Tom Jordan for supporting this channel.